inside of uh, our uh, departments. Uh, I am happy because uh, not each clinic uh, in the Russia uh, adult and child uh, treatment uh, take care in the different clinic. This is for adult, this is uh, for child. <clears throat> in our center, we have uh, system, we have uh, possibilities when a doctor start to uh, treat uh, baby. For example, yesterday was uh, surgery seven years, today six years, and last patient was uh, 77 uh, years. Uh, all of patients, uh, we can support them. Uh, you can see, uh, this is uh, very sorry, this is uh, Russian language, but uh, I took this uh, presentation from our uh, <coughs> doctor uh, meeting. This is from our report. Uh, Post-trauma case, surgery, and uh, during few days, I think this is uh, maybe 10 days, we can uh, correct everything and then uh, we can discharge of uh, this uh, patient. In other patient, uh, same situation uh, <clears throat> when we have not only fracture, we have uh, some shortening of uh, ulna and uh, with which methods we can support of, uh, in this case. I think only with uh, magic of Elizarov treatment and uh, when we uh, start treat this is patient uh, come for checkup uh, this surgery was uh, not on this week uh, this is uh, a few weeks ago and you see when patient uh, in front of us each x-ray we check not only, uh, not only position of the uh, bones we check condition of newborn we check condition of, of the regeneration. And you see, this is patient discharge. And at home, uh, continued lengthening, ulna, one millimeter per day. But this is adult patient. And I think after first x-ray, doctor need degrees speed of uh, lengthening. Why? Because uh, for adult patient, I think this is a very high uh, speed. Uh, for elongation. And uh, just now we can see this is not uh, so strong uh, quality of uh, newborn, not uh, so good. And I think uh, for full consolidation, this is patient to need maybe extra time. Uh, why? Because uh, doctor was not near with uh, patient. After each X-ray, doctor, please correct rate, rate uh, of uh, lengthening. For me, I think uh, will enough or uh, half millimeters or 0 0.75 millimeters, but one millimeters per day for these uh, patients too high. But with uh, time, we can get result. In other case, <clears throat> very severe uh, uh, road accident, uh, trauma, uh, patient loss uh, forearm, uh, not in our clinic, and uh, another doctor uh, put on uh, monolateral uh, fixator. And with this system, uh, we cannot correct uh, Deformity, we cannot uh, <clears throat> take, uh, give uh, them, uh, this patient uh, compression. And uh, with Dr. Klimov again, we put uh, our Elizarov uh, device a little bit compress. And just now, uh, without, without forearm, this is patient continued with frame, continued work like driver. Unique result. Another uh, road accident, road accident uh, case, uh, baby after so many uh, operation, more than 20 with uh, plastic surgery, 
and uh, she cannot use left uh, lower extremity, big uh, shortening, equinus deformity, bent position of knee joint, and she can walk only with crutches. Why? Because she cannot uh, take uh, weight bearing on the left uh, side. Uh, equinus deformity, problem with uh, soft tissue, and uh, we work together with our plastic surgery. After them, we uh, put uh, one device to the femur, then uh, we uh, correct uh, position of bone to the tibia, then come in time to the foot, then, 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 and uh, on the final, uh, baby can touch on his heel and put to the floor. And just now she uh, can walk uh, or with one stick or without any support. And she will come again for continuity of our treatment. Congenital problem with uh, forearm. And uh, usually very difficult to uh, support this patient without I am uh, against uh, for put on any external uh, intramedullary, sorry, uh, intramedullary uh, support, in, intramedullary nail. But uh, when we uh, start treat uh, wrist, I think uh, this is a good uh, helper for us. And uh, we can, without dislocation, can finish treatment and uh, baby is baby, and sometimes we not remove uh, nail from intramedullary. But uh, on the end, uh, we uh, will do uh, centralization, and I hope we will remove uh, this uh, intramedullary nail. Shortening, lengthening, and uh, this is a uh, girl has uh, more than 10 centimeters shortening. But my experience possible uh, finished in one stage possible, but knee joint will not happy. And if we have uh, shortening near the 10 centimeters, usually we uh, divide, uh, delayed and uh, sometimes uh, some uh, stage uh, we finished with uh, four, six centimeters, and uh, in another uh, stage, we uh, equalized extremities. In other case, and very uh, heavy case, uh, this is patient uh, 74 years uh, old. Uh, he, uh, who has fracture to the factory, uh, if you have the interest, I will prepare from beginning because this is last stage. Uh, inside of uh, our uh, department, uh, I think this is fourth or fifth stage and uh, so many surgeries. But uh, after trauma, uh, doctor won't amputate both of hand because uh, doctor has a big defect of bone and only uh, skin and inshallah uh, was uh, blood vessels is on the place. And uh, we uh, support with external fixator, with plastic surgery, with angiologist. We save his uh, boss of hand because, because after trauma, nobody think about uh, safe. And just now she continued, I cannot normal life, but uh, life with upper extremities. Uh, this is surgery was uh, yesterday, uh, trauma and big ossifications. And uh, the women haven't any function of uh, knee joint, nothing, ankylosis. Uh, Dr. Shikhaleva remove all of this extra bone oxtia feet. Then uh, doctor from our department put on external fixator. And just now 
Олег Владимирович, сколько градусов функции у женщины со стеофитом? And just now uh, uh, rate uh, of motion of uh, elbow joint more than 60 from zero to 60 degree. I uh, think this is excellent result. Here, sorry, was open. Dr. Shikhaleva open, everything removed, then put on uh, Urizara fixator outside, and just now, this is woman more than happy. Uh, this is surgery, uh, first was a few weeks ago. Uh, today, uh, 20, 25 minutes ago, we finished uh, tibia. Uh, uh, you can see uh, deformity and shortening uh, heel. Uh, we uh, did osteotomy of, of heel, uh, correct position of uh, little bit lengthening. Same day, uh, we remove uh, intramedullary nail. And after a few weeks, today, we uh, correct uh, virus deformity. Uh, sorry, I haven't uh, x-ray. Uh, if you will have interest, Next week, I will show this tibia. And I think tomorrow patient will uh, go uh, outside of ward. Another uh, patient with pseudoarthrosis of uh, clavicula. And Dr. Barry, sorry, we uh, not use uh, of uh, key wire. And uh, here we uh, put on chance uh, with uh, open uh, adaptation. And uh, why? Because uh, patient little bit drunk and uh, go away from department and we cannot uh, control them. But I hope result will good. Uh, this is a patient with shortening, lengthening, and another patient uh, after cosmetic lengthening, uh, in uh, big city, from big city, uh, Samara, doctor finished uh, lengthening and removed frame without any, how I can say, uh, insurance, without plaster cast, uh, without thermoplastic. Patients uh, uh, go, start work, start uh, jump, broken, uh, doctor put on plate, and just now, uh, we correct with uh, one tibia with uh, our device, with the Lizara frame, and uh, after them, uh, we have plan remove plate from the left tibia, and uh, I think patient will few months spent in our department. Another uh, patient, this is uh, pseudoarthritis of low part of right uh, tibia, after surgery, patient immediately start work, and we have a uh, plan discharge for, for fixation. I like uh, this uh, uh, site of uh, orthopedic, orthopedia. This is pseudoachondroplasia, uh, because all of these patients, magic too, because uh, any our result with achondroplasia uh, patient, excellent. All of this patient without any stimulation, work, jump, uh, and when we can see before surgery, uh, patient uh, cannot uh, use bathroom, come out. After them, uh, after our treatment, patient uh, can drive, uh, patient uh, can sit in the normal chair, and usually, uh, just now, we uh, length no more than 10 centimeters. Seven, eight, nine, no more. Why? Because uh, gross uh, plate, not happy when uh, we length too much, more than 10 centimeters. Come in problem, come in uh, contracture, and just now, Dr. Uh, Barry, my fault, but Proximal part of uh, femur, sometimes we need put on chance, but usually I put half pins. And without 
exercise without uh, weight bearing, we cannot get result. And Elizarov, with each his patient, to do, to do exercise and show how must walk. How you see patient with lengthening of tibia and walk uh, come uh, in the gym and uh, uh, afraid. I cannot. And Elizarov give him, uh, you are brave, you can. And patients start walk. And uh, our, uh, after surgery, must obligatory. We uh, next day did, uh, not did, we uh, change of bandages. And then immediately go to the, our gym. Uh, this is uh, not this week, uh, this is uh, from Archiv, because uh, time of pandemic, our patient cannot uh, uh, communicate uh, because, because. And uh, with instructor, all of patients, without any problem, walk, take weight. And you can see, without any crutches, and all of these patients inside of our treatment, five, six, seven centimeters of lengthening, a baby is baby, and uh, must show this is a picture for adult patient. Because uh, sometimes I'm sure I show this uh, picture in the uh, internet, Instagram, and uh, then I uh, receive uh, some later. Why you show? Because uh, this is not so good. This is uh, medicine. But in other patients, in other uh, people won't know. Uh, you see, uh, during the lengthening, we have equinus deformity and small uh, supination of food. And sometimes uh, no patient not ready for surgery. And we can support uh, with combined thermoplastic with our uh, small uh, device from Elizarov. You know, we put uh, some special shoes, uh, individual special shoes uh, put on on the foot. And then without uh, pass wire, we little bit uh, support of uh, correct of equinus deformity of foot. And just now you can see Without surgery, we can we can take uh, excellent uh, correction. Again, I want to congratulate us uh, with uh, excellent data, 100 years from birth of genius. And I invite all of you for international Elizarov readings, which next time will uh, on 15 uh, June when from all the world, this is my friend, uh, Alexander Kirienka. This is another my big friend and uh, my teacher, Dr. Shevtsov and biggest friend, Dr. Barry. And colleagues, Dr. Salomin. And if you can see, Dr. Barry uh, here, not only uh, go to the institute. Sometimes he's single. And we need go on this place and stay near for workshop. And I won't finish with uh, this point from heart of uh, orthoped, orthopedic surgeon. Elizarov feel any defect in life of bone when you are how hopeless in orthopedic treatment thing to Elizarov. Extending the quality of life by Elizarov lengthening. When all of lights are off, the light of Elizarov is on. Surprising, unbelievable, even by Elizarov. The end of disability by Elizarov. Bright future in disability by Elizarov. This is doctor from big 
experience. And thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for your time. And I am happy to stay with you. Thank Dr. Barry. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your excellent presentation. Uh, uh, Professor Barry, sir, would you please uh, share your screen uh, uh, regarding the presentation of, uh, excellent presentation of Professor Navikov, sir. Barry, sir, uh, Professor Barry, sir, you have to unmute yourself, sir, please. Okay. No. Okay, now you can hear me. Yes, sir, we can hear you, sir. Oi, oi, Malajes. Malajes in Russia, Malajes. Malajes, really excellent. Bravo. So I enjoyed your lecture, my dear Konstantin Yorovich very good starting from the first slide to last slide and uh, really uh, it was a you know i was just looking about uh, doing the my watch the how time passed so every every steps that you described nicely i enjoyed and starting from the not the simple case all the difficult cases especially the post-traumatic deformities in the hand, in the wrist. These are very difficult cases. Only you can solve these kinds of problems in the Lizar technique that you showed this one. And regarding the... You're absolutely uh, right. Yes, device. And regarding the uh, achondroplastic patient, I have seen in Kurgan how you are doing all the time with this... Uh, you know, little, little babies. And we are also facing a lot of cases in my country. We are doing also. And regarding the pseudarthrosis of the clavicle, and I like to do it with only the care wires that you put to the pins. No, because you, you oh. did that case with uh, pins. And I love to do this with all the simple care wires. Passing from the both sides and bending it and holding it with mini lizard of apparatus. So, uh, uh, yeah, overall, I will try. Uh, okay, overall, your right. lecture was a uh, learning, learning lecture and the slides are good. And uh, of course, uh, I know the center, the father of orthopedics in uh, Kurgan. And 21 uh, departments, they are doing individually all these uh, case, difficult cases. And that's why uh, my advice for the orthopedic surgeons, Shamsuruda, he was in Baltimore and other places. And in India, you are doing all the time. Once in a time, just go and see what they are doing. And for me, it is very easy because I have captured the Russian language. That's why whenever I go there, I can talk with every every people 1500 orthopedic surgeons in his of surgeons in the kurgan center and they are doing totally totally everything every day they are doing all kinds of surgeries uh, except these uh, deformities and deformity correction whatever may be that he taught any other external fixator the biological parameters were given by the professor elizarov and everywhere they are maintaining everything and it's a fantastic technique fantastic methodology Elizarov is called the methodology. This is not only apparatus. And that's why Professor Elizarov was always loved to say and fond of saying, no surgery is justified to do any reconstructive surgery by my technique, that means Elizarov technique, unless he has got the competent idea regarding the technique of the apparatus. So my, uh, my uh, uh, just, uh, I'm going to finish that one saying for the young, uh, Marding orthopedic surgeons, whenever you'd like to do the Lizarov, try to learn the basic Lizarov. And then you can proceed. You can do anything in the tibia. In the tibia, it's a very simple bone. Any kind of trauma, any kind of deformity, you can do in the tibia. Then you can proceed gradually to the femur, gradually to the upper extremity radius and Allah, from head to toes. Everywhere you can put. 
Only the, you must follow the principle and philosophy. Thank you very much. I talked a little bit more, probably. Thank you very no, much. No, sir. So, thank you very much, sir. Thank you for sharing your excellent knowledge with us. Uh, sir, I have a question to Professor Navikov, sir. Uh, you are using uh, one kind of uh, shoe materials uh, to prevent the equinus deformity. Uh, you have just uh, shown us. Uh, would you please uh, tell us about that uh, materials, what type of materials you are using uh, to prepare that type of shoe so that we can make it in our country? I think uh, you have, uh, this is, this is uh, in Russian, we call it turba cast. Turba cast. Plaster cast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, we put the... Uh, what idea to me you can mold? Yeah, it is called thermoplastic. And I think, uh, Dr. Barry, we, we can, uh, this is example, we can put, uh, we can print, we can publish. Because uh, just now, uh, small equinus deformity, Usually, I uh, support uh, with uh, this is uh, combined shoe. Combined uh, shoe, yes. Gradually, with this putting the, degree, putting, the, putting the wires in the frame uh, in that shoe, then you can gradually pull. Right. And sometimes yeah. we are using plaster also in the plaster. Oh. Yes, yeah, you're absolutely right. Plaster. But uh, in the uh, plastic, we can put some details of Elizarov and uh, we can uh, correct equinus deformity, supination, pronation, and uh, we can remove, uh, uh, increase forces uh, for correction, decrease forces. And uh, this is patient says, very effective. And just now, right. if, uh, uh, and one more, uh, sometimes before surgery, uh, if patient won't continue and we have uh, our plan, we need finished plan, uh, continue to lengthen in one centimeter, half centimeters. Uh, uh, this is, I talk about five, six centimeters lengthening. And after five centimeters coming, equine is deformity of foot. And uh, some patient walk without any deformity of foot. But some patient very strong and coming come in equinus deformity, supination deformity. And uh, I'm happy because a uh, few patients uh, with this is, uh, funny shoes, uh, I go away from surgery. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Now I'd like to request Dr. Uh, Shamsul Udasad to share his knowledge and uh, share his experience uh, regarding the presentation of uh, Professor Navikos. Thank you, Dr. Tanvir. Thanks, Naviko, sir, for a wonderful lecture and wonderful teaching. We have been always learning from you. And as uh, Barisa said, we really wish to go for a short fellowship at Bangladesh as well as Kurgan. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, this is very important for us. And uh, uh, regarding this uh, thermoplastic material, these are available in place of brace uh, slab as uh, ventilated braces. So we have been using this in place of braces. This is a very good idea. We can attach this with Elizabeth rings and do gradual correction. Exactly. Yeah, exactly, sir. I have one question with for uh, Navikos, sir, regarding that elbow case, the elbow post-traumatic stress case. You uh, placed Elizaro and uh, gave movements. Can you please show the clinical pictures of the rings placement? And do it? Do you do the it is stage wise or uh, like that? Because there was a lot of uh, uh, bone formation around that. Myositis was there. So in cases of myositis ossificans, do you just remove the bones and then apply Elizaro, or you directly apply the hinges? The elbow case. Uh, <clears throat> elbow case. Uh, uh, Prime uh, first uh, start work uh, plastic surgery. Open elbow jo joint. Remove everything. Uh, check uh, function of joint, elbow joint, and only after that, when we close the wound, uh, come in our time, because. Uh, I think with uh, Elizara frame, very difficult work uh, for plastic surgery. First, we remove this is osteophyte. And if you have interest, uh, next time we can uh, show. Just now, I won't ask. Uh, and if you have interest, uh, we can show this is case uh, all of uh, steps how we did. Exactly, sir. And uh, can I add this? 
Yeah, please, sir. Yeah. Request one or two answers. Yes, yeah. very good, very good question and a good case and difficult case. Whenever you see lot of myositis ossificans around the elbow, elbow, and totally just like a arthrodesis, it may be ankylosed fibrous yeah. or bony. You remove all the bony tissues and then you can put the elizarov. You can put the elizarov with hinges. Only after that. Only after that. After that, yes, you yeah. can only That's after that. In the same city, you can do that. After a few days, you can start movement with a unlocking the hinges, and as a result, the tissues around the elbow joint it will help you to go for, you know, gradual flexion and extension. A few days back, few days back, two or three days, Samsunuda was you 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 have uh, given it in the Facebook trauma case. Beautifully, you have seen. Uh, we have seen that the the girl was moving everywhere. So this is the beauty of Eliza. It's good. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. We we all uh, saw that cases uh, that the uh, Samsunuda was posted in the Facebook. Uh, he has done that uh, in a closed method. Uh, in the distal humerus fracture, and that was an excellent case. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Professor Navikam sir for his excellent presentation, and, and I would like to thank uh, Professor Mopakrol Bari sir and Dr. Uh, Shamsul sir uh, to be with us. And the viewers, uh, hope uh, we will meet you in the uh, next Friday with another topic of Elizarov. Uh, before that, I would like to thank Raj TV for helping us to arrange this type of uh, academic programs, and definitely. Renata Pharmaceuticals Bangladesh Limited for sponsoring our program. I'm Dr. Mohamed Tanvirashab saying bye-bye uh, to all of you and I hope we will connect uh, in the coming Friday with another new topic. Till then, I would like to say bye-bye. You are watching Raj TV. Jagurone Bangladesh. Please subscribe our channel.